Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and it is September. I am super excited. This is a collab put on by Amanda over at the Beals and I will put everybody who is participating in this collab in the description box below for you. You are gonna wanna go and watch everybody's video in September, and you're gonna wanna comment on those videos. Amanda, at the end of the month, will be doing a giveaway. I'm not really sure what it is yet, but you don't wanna miss out. Who doesn't like a giveaway? Plus, all of these channels are fantastic. You're gonna wanna see what they're cooking up, and you're gonna wanna subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of the fantastic recipes. Anyway, folks, I have a super quick soup for you today, and I'm going to be making a Tuscan chicken soup. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, these are the ingredients we're going to be using. I am making this an easy soup. I'm going to be using my home canned chicken, and that is actually chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you like. You can use rotisserie chicken, um, chicken that you have in your fridge that you cooked and it's left over. Um, whatever you want to use. A regular commercial canned chicken. I'm also going to be using a quart of tomato sauce. If you want to use pasta sauce, uh, commercial sauce, you can totally do that. If you'd rather just add some tomato paste into your broth, you could do that. I'm using some sun-dried tomatoes, um, some spinach. I have Thrive spinach. I don't have any fresh spinach, but if you have fresh spinach, frozen spinach, canned spinach, uh, spinach that you've dried yourself, whatever you want to use. This is just what is in my pantry. Um, and then I have, I'm going to be using the caldo de pollo, of course, that's my favorite. <laughs> and then onion and garlic. I have just put some butter in my pan. I would have put olive oil in here, but uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> I just smashed it all over my floor. <laughs> I am going to put some onion in. I am going to saute this until it gets soft and I am going to throw in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on my onions. I'm going to saute these until they get soft about seven minutes before I start adding in the rest of my stuff. Okay, I am going to add some garlic in here. And I've probably got, I don't know, eight cloves of garlic I'm putting in. I like garlic. You can put in uh, as much garlic as you want. And I'm just using my um, Pampered Chef garlic press to put the garlic in. And by the way, it is family day, so you're going to hear the little bit in the background here. The littles, they're getting ready to go outside and go swimming. What better thing to eat when you're swimming in the hot weather than uh, September soup? Okay, I'm going to shove all these last little cloves in there together. And I'm going to start opening up my jars. So my sauce. Got my juice from my chicken. I love chicken thighs. Canned chicken thighs. Look how soft this thigh meat is oh my gosh this is my favorite so I treat it like it's gold I use the chicken breast for everyday stuff but the kids are here it's family day we're doing a uh, soup I'm using the thigh meat oh yum and then my tomato sauce had basil in it a couple quarts of chicken broth. 
I'm going to turn my heat up on that. And I'm using um, powdered chicken bouillon, but you can use regular chicken broth. I'm going to put a tablespoon in. And then I have half a jar of sun-dried tomatoes here going in. These are packed in oil. You can do the dry packed ones, whatever you like. I'm using Thrive spinach. I'm going to put a good... That was about a half a cup, maybe a cup. I like the spinach. And if you've ever had the Tuscan chicken before, um, it's in a pasta. It's also just the chicken baked, but it's the pasta with chicken and a tomato sauce with heavy cream and spinach and sun-dried tomato. So I just took that chicken dish and turned it into a soup. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to add in about a cup of pasta. And this is the ditalini. It just says macaroni, but it's the salad macaroni, so it's like the ditalini pasta. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste to this. I'm probably going to put in a couple teaspoons. I want a good deep, deep tomato flavor with this. And I just realized <laughs> the soup I did yesterday has similar flavors with tomato and with spinach. So if you look up Tuscan chicken, you will see it is, are these flavors. I didn't realize when I was putting, I, I love spinach and tomato together. And I'm gonna add the flavors and I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of garlic powder, of course. A teaspoon of onion powder. Parsley. And a little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper in. And then I'm going to put in my pasta. Okay, I've got maybe a little less than a half a cup. Maybe I put about three quarters of a cup in. I don't want to overdo it because then it won't turn into soup. It'll suck it up. As soon as this pasta is done, this soup is ready. And normally I put in heavy cream when I serve it. Today I'm going to leave the heavy cream on the side. I'll bring you back when we're ready to serve this up. Okay, the soup is done. Look at it with pasta. You can see all the spinach, the sun-dried tomatoes, the chicken. Yum. Normally, I would put heavy cream in, like I said, but um, some people don't tolerate lactose, so I have it on the side. This is something, too, you can throw in the crock pot in the morning. Or it cooks fast enough, you could throw it in at lunchtime and have it done in four hours as well. So I have put a little bit of heavy cream in my bowl to turn it into a creamy Tuscan soup. I'm going to top this with some Parmesan cheese, and we're making paninis to go with it. Yum. I love the Tuscan chicken, and the Tuscan chicken soup is so good. You're going to love it. Camera's on. Hi. Hey, we made soup. You're going to taste test the pretzels on a soup video? It's soup timber. You're supposed to taste test your soup. <laughs> Roy's going to taste test the soup. Now my soup. My soup. That is good. Alright. Take a bite of your sandwich. Take a bite of your num num. Take it. Take a bite, nummy. That is nummy. It's num num. Nummy. Okay, he's taste testing his little panini for you. Uh, he's a little too little for soup. He makes a big mess. <laughs> he's so cute. This is my beautiful daughter in law. She's going to do taste tests for you <laughs> of the soup. It's delicious. Five stars.
sides of Jamaica. It's really good. Especially with the cream, the added cream and the, uh, what's this cheese called? Parmesan. Parmesan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. You had it without the cream, is it good? Yeah, it's really good without the cream, too. All right, that is all there is to my Tuscan chicken soup, and today is family day, and we are serving it with paninis. Yum! I have a bunch of super happy kids. Okay, maybe they're adults. You know, 30-something. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.